Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, I'll show you 25 different optimizations and tips, which will drastically improve your FPS, lower your delay, and overall make your game feel much smoother. I'll be showing you a lot of useful stuff in this video, so make sure to stick around till the end. And if this video does well, I'll make a part two with another 25 tips. Just like and subscribe. Let's get into the tutorial. So firstly, you need to download a few files that we will be using in this video. So simply go to your browser and search up discord.g slash exm like this and press on it and this will make you join my discord server. So simply here, go to the free tweaks category and find 25 tips and tricks for better performance and go to the Google Drive link. So simply right click on this and press download. It should show up in the top corner right here. So simply press on this and you can see it should be opened like this and simply minimize all of the windows that you have open in the background. So it puts you on your, to your desktop and drag the folder onto your desktop. All right, so the first thing we want to do is make a restore point. And this will basically allow you to go back to default. So simply go into the folder, go to start, right click on this and run it as administrator and put it in full screen and simply press one and enter. And this will make you a restore point. And I'll skip to when it's finished. All right, so we just made a restore point and it exited out of the applications. So our first optimization will be disabling startup apps with auto runs. So if you're wondering what this does, basically there's certain apps which automatically start up when you turn on your PC. And if you're playing Fortnite and you have, for example, Discord running in the background and you're not using it, it's taking up some of your performance. And this will basically make it so the app doesn't start up and you can still open it manually, of course. So simply go into the folder and go to the, the number one folder, right click on the app and run it as admin. Here on top, go to the logon section and basically uncheck everything except your antivirus, which uh, if you're using like a Windows Defender, just keep using that. I have an external one. Make sure CMD is checked. Just make sure stuff like Epic Games Launcher, Logitech G Hub, and stuff like that is disabled so it doesn't automatically start. And after that, you can simply just close the application. This is one of the many tips that I'll be showing you in this video, which have a very positive impact on FPS. So make sure to watch this video until the end to maximize your PC's performance. Next, we have Windows Update Blocker. And if you're wondering why you would want to block Windows updates, it's for two reasons. So, so first of all, if you're playing a game and the Windows update starts in the background, it will completely kill your FPS. And the second reason is that the Windows updates install a bunch of bloatware to your PC, which is just unnecessary stuff which your PC doesn't need. And yeah, that's why I recommend downloading updates every few months and then tweaking your PC after. So of course, go to this application, run it. And here you can check if uh, the updates are disabled or enabled and simply press disable updates and apply now and enable them if you ever want to update your windows. So yeah, I'm just going to press apply now and close it. All right, so here is uh, the third optimization of the video. Well, actually, this will be a bunch of different optimizations. And the first one we have is disabling game DVR or Xbox. And simply search up Xbox Game Bar in uh, your search bar and go to enable Xbox Game Bar and make sure this is unchecked. After this one, we have disable storage sense, which simply search up storage sense window settings. So turn on storage sense and make sure this is disabled. So after that, we have disable transparency effects. So simply go to personalization and here make sure transparency effects is disabled. All right, so that's everything for the third optimization. And the fourth tip is gonna be optimizing Windows privacy settings. So we're still gonna stay in the Windows settings. Simply go to privacy and security. And we're gonna disable a bunch of stuff here. So first we have diagnostics and feedback and make sure all of this is off and you can also clear the data. And another thing we have is inking and typing personalization, make sure this is off. Then we have speech, make sure this is off. Then we have general and make sure all of this is off. Uh, activity history, another thing you want to make sure is off. Then another thing we have is uh, searching windows. And here you can turn on and turn off search indexing, which basically search indexing makes searching for files a lot faster, but it also comes at a slight performance cost. So if you're on a low end PC, I recommend having it off. And if you're on a high end PC and you also do stuff like edit videos, etc., then I recommend having it on enhanced. So yeah, I'm personally going to keep it on enhanced. And yeah, that's everything for the fourth option. And next we have number five, which is uninstalling a bunch of useless apps of your PC. So simply go back then to the folder and go here, uninstall useless apps and run this little file as administrator. And this will open this little menu. Basically, it will allow you to uninstall a bunch of useless pre-installed apps. So I'll skip to when this is finished. 
All right, so after that, uh, we have delete Cortana, which is another useless app of, and just press two, it uninstalled it. And then we have uh, delete Microsoft Edge, which if you guys don't edge, just uh, simply press three and enter. And we're not done with this yet. So simply please search up settings, go to apps, and here you can uninstall a bunch of stuff. So nobody uses Windows Hello. So there's a bunch of stuff here, which nobody uses, but uh, I just uninstalled Windows Hello since it's a pretty big file and the rest of them are just a few megabytes. So let's just move on to the next tip. So next we have something which I recommend you guys doing every few months, which is cleaning dust from your PC. Dust in your PC may cause higher temperatures and higher temperatures basically will cause FPS drops. So I highly recommend cleaning your PC every two or three months. And the best way you can do it is with compressed and air. And after this, we're gonna have two tips which are related to Fortnite. So the first thing that we have is Fortnite game user settings. So open the EXM folder again and go to Fortnite game user settings like this and control C copy this and go to percent local app data percent like this, this folder then uh, click on anything and just press F and this should put you onto Fortnite game. Go to Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows client, and simply paste these in and replace the file in the destination. And of course, there's a bunch of stuff that you can change here, so I'll open this. And if you're trying to find a certain setting, just press Control and F and I'm trying to find the frame rate limit, so I'm just gonna do this. And you can see frame rate limit. For example, if you play on 144 FPS or something like that, then change it to that. So after that, we have Fortnite launcher settings. So you're gonna want to open your Epic Games launcher, go to library, find Fortnite, go to the three options right here, go to options. So just make sure that pre-downloaded streaming assets is checked and the rest of this should be unchecked. Simply press apply, that's all you need to do. So the ninth tip is to clean a bunch of useless files off your PC and simply open the folder, go to clean useless files and run this little disk cleanup thing. And if you have multiple drive which you use frequently, then make sure you do it on all of them. But I'm just gonna clean my SSD. And you can see I have 560 megabytes of temporary files and simply I'm just gonna delete them like this. And yeah, that's all you have to do. And I recommend doing this every month or so, so you don't have a bunch of uh, useless files on your PC constantly. On to the next tip. So the temp tip of this video is checking out exmtweaks.com. This is my website where I have my premium and standard tweaking tools. These are tools which will completely optimize your PC for the best possible performance. They lower your ping, increase your FPS and drastically decrease your latency and input. I have over 750 reviews on my website and Discord server combined, so make sure to check them out. All right, so the next two optimizations are gonna have to do with hardware acceleration. And the first thing that we're gonna have is disabling hardware acceleration. So go to your window settings and go to gaming, go to game mode and go to graphics and then press on change the default graphic settings and make sure hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is off. And even if it seems kind of fancy, like reduce latency, improve performance, this has proven to be false and you can test it out for yourself. Then we have the 12th tip, which is disabling hardware acceleration on Discord and Google Chrome. So first we're gonna do Chrome. So I'm gonna open Chrome, go to these little three dots on the top corner, go to settings and go to system and make sure use hardware acceleration when available is off. And after that, we have a uh, disable hardware acceleration on Discord. So open Discord, go to settings and then go to advanced right here and make sure hardware acceleration is turned off so after that we have disable useless animations so simply go to search bar and search up performance and it should be adjust the appearance and performance of window and basically here copy my settings so make sure show thumbnails instead of icons is selected and smooth edges on screen fonts is selected and a little bonus tip, make sure to go to advanced and check if this is set on programs. So, and if it's set on background services, then make sure it's on programs. But yeah, after that, just press apply and close it. After that, we have optimized taskbar and simply right click on your taskbar down here, go to taskbar settings and uh, put this on full screen and basically copy my settings. So make sure search icon is hidden. Actually, this doesn't really matter, but it just looks cleaner and make sure all of this is disabled. And yeah, that's all you have to do. That's the step. It will basically turn off some widgets like weather, which runs in the background and takes up your performance. So that's why. And after that, we have defragment drives. So just search up defragment and you can see defragment and optimized drives is right here. 
and select your SSD uh, and press on optimize. And I would do this with every single drive you have. And yeah, same do it with your HDD and anything else that you have. And after that, uh, you can just close it, simple as that. So the next thing that we have is NVIDIA Profile Inspector. And if you're wondering what this is, it's something which allows you to change NVIDIA control panel settings, like these 3D settings, but in a more advanced way, and it's a lot better. And I also want to apologize to my AMD boys. I link some tutorials on how to optimize an AMD GPU in the description. So go watch that after you finish watching this video, of course. So just go to EXM25 tips and tricks and go to optimize NVIDIA GPU 3D settings. And here, run NVIDIA Profile Inspector as administrator. This will open this little app. It looks kind of complicated, but trust me, uh, all you have to do is just open back up the folder and uh, make sure it's in like this windowed mode and drag the settings over it like this. And it should say profile successfully imported and press okay and apply changes. And after that, just exit out. So yeah, that's everything you have to do for this step. So the next thing that we're going to be talking about is my power plan. I have to warn you guys that if you're on a PC which has overheating issues, then you can skip this one. But if you don't go into the EXM folder, go to the number 16 power plan and run EXM power plan. And here you can just press one and enter to apply my power plan. So here, EXM3 power plan V2 and select it. And if you have any other ones, you can delete them, but I'll still use my premium power plan since it's a lot better than the free one. But trust me, the free one is actually really good. All right, so the next tip that we're gonna talk about is game mode. So simply open your window settings, search up game mode. And I recommend having this on on unless you are on the older version of windows 10 or anything older than that but if you're on windows 11 or like a newer version of windows 10 then it's good to have it on so the next thing that we're going to be talking about is xmp and if you're wondering what this is it's basically a feature in your bios which allows you to unlock your ram's full frequency and i linked a tutorial in the description on how to unlock so just go to the description and watch that tutorial after you finish this video so the next two tips are going to be revolving around the device manager. So the first one is cleaning useless device data. So simply open device manager uh, by searching it up in your search bar. And right here, press on file options and delete file and press OK. So that will delete a bunch of uh, useless device data which is stored on your PC. And the next one is going to be disabling high precision event timers. So simply go to system devices, press on anything and press H. And here you have a high precision event timer and simply right click on this and disable device. And yeah, that's everything for task manager. After that, you can just close it. So the next two steps that we're going to be doing is with registry. And the first one is disabling network throttling. So simply press Windows and R. And in this little runtime menu, uh, type in reg edit. And I put a few of these uh, paths in the description of this video. I probably said like uh, registry paths or something like that under it. And simply copy the first one and it should end with system profile. And simply press enter. All right, so basically double click on network throttling index and set the base to hexadecimal. The value data should be eight Fs. So basically press F, F, F. All right, that's eight Fs and press OK. And after that, we have Windows 32 priority separation. So copy the second path that I put in the description of this video and put it in the top right here. And double click on Windows 32 priority separation and uh, make sure the base is set to hexadecimal and the value should be 26. So the value is 26 hex. And then press OK. And yeah, that's what we have for the registry tweaks. And after that, we're going to be having optimization of Discord. Of course, you can skip this if you don't use Discord, but using Discord is so much better than voice chat. Trust me. Basically, open Discord and go to user settings. And then the first thing that we're going to be disabling is activity privacy. So make sure this is disabled. After that, we have a game overlay. Now this takes up a lot of performance, so make sure this is disabled. So yeah, after that, you can just close Discord. And now let's just move on to the next. It's going to be this little optimization in your network settings, which may slightly decrease your ping. Go to your search bar and go to control panel. And from control panel, go to network and internet, network and sharing center. So go to your connections, whatever you have here, go to properties and uh, go to internet protocol version four. 
go to advanced and go to WINS and make sure the Sable Net BIOS over TCP IP is checked. And yeah, simply press OK on everything, just close it. And that's everything for the 24th step. So after that, we have mouse and keyboard optimization. So simply go to the EXM folder and I have a little tool for this, which I made and simply go to mouse and keyboard and run the mouse and keyboard optimization as admin. And this will do a few optimizations like disabling toggle keys, sticky keys, mouse keys, and a bunch of other stuff. So here uh, we have a mouse and keyboard data queue size and how you find out and here you basically select which, whichever type of CPU you have and the way you find this out is you go to task manager, go to performance right here and go to CPU and you can see I have a 13th gen i7 which is a high end CPU and basically comment below whichever type of CPU you have and I'll let you know whichever one of these options you should use. So I personally have a high end CPU so I'm going to use that and simple as that, boom. So that's everything for today's video. Simply restart your PC and go test it out in Fortnite. This is probably the most work I've ever put into a video, so I would appreciate any type of support on this, because, you know, I probably spent like 25, maybe even 30 hours on this, so, you know, just letting y'all know. And yeah, uh, love you guys. Bye.